nay intolerance demonstrated by any group of men would be due to instability, weakness, frailties and infirmities. Religious bodies do not seek to impose its will directly or indirectly upon the general populace or the public. Religious liberty is so indivisible that an act against one place of worship is an act against all. Today, it may be a church, a mosque, or a temple against whom the finger of brutality is pointed. Tomorrow, it may be a community against another, as it has been for the last several decades. Another day, it may be a caste against another. Today, I may be the victim, but tomorrow, it may be you. Until the whole fabric of a harmonious society is writ at a time of great national peril. It will then ensure every man the same right to attend or not attend the place of worship of his choice. I believe in a country's leadership whose religious views are his own and private affair neither imposed by him upon the nation or imposed by the nation upon him as a condition to hold that office.